Hello, good morning, sir. Actually, we have process uh, for one employee. Actually, the name is Shintan Prajapati, and we have process salary from last uh, January 2021 to till we have process salary of June, June 2022. May, sorry, it's May 2022. So you can able to see the pay slip over here and whatever the allowances which we have given. So that is getting discussed to be over here. Now this we are giving the backdated increment for this employee cases. So now how we are just revising the entry. So first of all, as uh, uh, I just uh, already discussed with Sonia and uh, the cases which may be she is just drafting in the mails. So you will just get, you just come to know which are the points are not uh, getting concluded to be over here and which are the points which cannot be processed with the backdated increment. So first of all, you cannot give a backdated increment of employee from their joining dates. Or uh, one more case is that, uh, see, uh, if any allowances, any allowances, whenever you are giving the backdated increment, so you should not remove any allowances. So you, if you previously if you are giving the, any allowance in the terms of the percentage or the amount, so you need to put it zero whenever they are giving backdated increment. So what happened whenever the calculation will take place? So previously, if I am getting the uh, 1,500 or 2,000 amount for particular allowances, so whenever they are putting zero, so those allowance will get uh, recovered from your previous salary and whatever the balance figure which is you have given to the new particular allowances, so it will be paid on those particular amounts. So. Uh, you need to take care of these particular cases and one more thing whenever just you are giving the backdated increment so in the increment see uh, for one employee if you have already given a five time increment or a transfer of in between see example like uh, i'm just showing you an excel sheet so you just come to know So these are the excel sheet over here so see at least uh, we are just taking one case over here like uh, april 2021 so it is my date of joining so if you are post like see now we are in uh, currently we are in july month july 2022 so if you are giving backdated increment from 1st of April 2021 so system will not do the calculation so it is the first case in a second case here you have just given HRA to the employee so here whenever just you are doing the settlement so whenever just you are giving the backdated increment so here also you need to give an HRA but see previously you have given like 20,000 so now whenever just you are just doing the backdated increment just you need to give increment but here you need to put a amount is zero or if you are just put it the percentage so you need to percentage should be zero then and then only what happened system will take a recovery and uh, payment calculations over here in the terms of the salary settlement so these are the first cases now in the second case what happened like see uh, if employee joining is from april 2021 so maybe you have given uh, their first increment to be in a july 2021 second increment you may in a given in a, like december 2021 or if you have given any here i'm just putting the things like uh, increment maybe here you have given again increment okay in a jane 2020 if you have given a uh, transfer transfer so now in july if you are giving the backdated increment from maybe february 2021 so the same increment uh, effect which you have given from the february 2021 so you need to give three increment First of all, you need to give increment from the same uh, salary structure you need to import as a three time. 
because of in between you have given multiple time uh, effect to the employees uh, salary so whenever just see they are just doing the comparison so for every time for comparison you need to give a three uh, particular rows you need to import for an backdated increment like first of all you need to give increment uh, like backdated increment date will be like a uh, uh, first july 2021 It is the first December then again you need to give an increment from 1st jan 2020 so ultimately you need to give this particular file three time to the employee uh, you need to update this uh, in excel format so i'm just showing you an excel format to you so you'll come to know how we need to prepare the increment file so whenever just you are giving the preparing the file so you need to prepare in this particular format so where just you need to put employee code three time you need to give in repetitions here you need to put the ink type it is increment and you need to give three increment dates over here for the same employee okay so you need to prepare the excel sheet in this particular format then you can do the so here as of now just we are giving and we are just taking one case where employee name is chintan prajapati so you can able to see their present salary of the employees so there it is their basic and this it is their uh, gross salary you can also uh, come to know you can just uh, take a look of their uh, current salary structures okay so it is their current salary structure these are the basic this hra convenience allowance special allowance and it is their uh, employee pf and the employer pf so these are the normal which we have taken a simple normal salary structure so here just i am giving you increment from the back to date So here I'm just go into the particular section employee increment and here you can just click on a employee increment click on add buttons see here it is the date is showing it is a system date from which date you are just giving the increment and here from which effective date you would like to give increment to the employee so here i am just selecting the particular 0104 2021 here i am just selecting the name of the employees here i am just selecting the reason of the particular uh, effect to the employee so here i am just selecting the type as increment here you can just come to know it is their present uh, salary structures and if i am just giving increment in a percentage i can just put in a percentage if i am just giving increment into the amounts i am just putting the amounts over here okay so as per the salary structure the entire salary structure is based on the gross salary so here i'm just putting the gross salary previous gross salary is the 15000 just i'm just putting the uh, next new gross will be like uh, 85000 i just select the amount and the gross salary i'm just putting over here and now i'm just putting what will be the new basic for this employee so this is like 20000 
so you can come to know okay, previously I have the basic cell is 10,000 if I'm just putting the increment in the terms of the basic so it is getting from 10 plus 25 it is 35,000 and I just I am just putting the uh, see I just increases the gross over here so it is see previously it was 50,000 but if I'm just putting the 85,000 uh, gross so 15 plus 85 so it is considering is 135 for this particular employees and just I'm clicking on a save buttons here I can just put my remarks to be over here so I just put it increment over here for this particular employee I can able to see key what increment which I just given to this particular employee now you can able to see it is increment date is 18 7 2022 and uh, back date which are just given 1 4 2 21 so here i'll just go into the salary settlement go into the option salary mode salary salary settlement click on add buttons so you can able to see previously which we have processed salary till May month. So I am just processing giving the effect of the salary into the June month. I am just selecting the employee is uh, over here or else if I just click on a go button. So all employee will get display over here. And you have option of the uh, area effect you would like to give into the salary or out of the salary. So both option is available with you people. So according to you, you can just proceed further. So here, uh, all the list will get appear over here. So based on that, whatever the employee you, you would like to give back to the increment. So you can just select the particular options. Or else you can just put the increment entry date. So by default, only those people will get selected in this particular menu. So here, I am just giving the increment from april onwards so i'm just selecting like from four month 2021 to fifth because of fifth we have already processed early fit 22 right so just if you have multiple records so you can use this option for a copy button so all uh, whatever that is you're just filling uh, information to be the first record so all will get copy for all those record which is getting displaced to be over here so as often I'm just selecting the one employee and I click on the save buttons. So here my increment uh, got process. I can able to check it over here. So these are my salary uh, effect which I just given. So I'm just showing you one report. So you'll just come to know how the system is getting calculated the particular things. Here you can just go in the report sections where you will find the employee customized report. Here you can just uh, pick option of salary. Here you will have an option of salary settlement. Select the format for. And just we need to select the date for which date you have just given a effective date so just here i'm just selecting the date is first june 2022 here i can get the record of shintan prajapati come to know from like uh, April onwards whatever the payable days of my previous salary and what are the year you can able to see it is my total increment effect so you can able to see the previously which we have already paid in the terms of the salary 10,000 already have given and what 
whatever the increment amount which you have this allocated to me so here you can able to see in HR we have not done any changes so you can able to see my increment is getting effecting on a like a basic special allowance gross PF and the deduction what we, we should have uh, given over here so you can able to see these are the all getting calculated to be over here and this is my total so whatever from backdated whatever which we have selected so here automatically system will uh, get a calculation based on the whatever previously whatever the salary which we have processed into the system so it will get calculated based on the previous salary and the new effect which we have given to the employees here now we have seen the settlement now just we are processing the salary of the june one so we are just going in the salary options salary manual salaries so manual salary and monthly salary is up to you based on the see if you are just uh, doing the calculation in the terms of the attendance so you need to process for the monthly salary if you are just giving the manual effect into the system and you are just processing the salary you need to go into the manual salary just select the June month select the employees click on go buttons select the employee and to the process one so now we have just processed the salary now we are just opening the report click on the report sections where you can find in salary reports select the salary slips here you need to select the particular month salary for june month we have processed here you need to select the particular employees in a format here you will getting the proper details key in which sections which amount got credit for an employee for a area and the normal salary so you can able to uh, see over here previously uh, this is my new salary structure which we have given into the uh, while doing the increment so you can able to see it is my regular salary and this is my area salary so as you know previously we have not done any changes in the terms of the HR or conveyance so it is uh, system is calculating properly here you can able to see it is the earlier effect from the my uh, based on the increment whatever we have here so it is getting calculated in you can able to see my excel sheet and uh, salary slip calculations is also getting meshed over okay so i think I hope we have just made it clear you can also able to see the calculations for an uh, PF areas it is also getting calculated okay thank you thank you very much sir.